In this video, I'll show you how to use OKX DEX, which is one of the most popular decentralized exchanges. Actually, it's an exchange aggregator, so it scans all of the major exchanges and then uses the exchange that's going to give us the best exchange rate for the tokens that we want to swap. So I'll show you how to connect your wallet here, use the swap feature and also the advanced feature, which uh, is more like a centralized exchange layout. Now, if you're using the OKX app and you have an OKX wallet, you can use it directly within the app as well. So I'm in the centralized exchange here for OKX. Within this same app, we can also load a Web3 wallet in there. So up at the top where it says exchange, I'll click that, go down to Web3. Now you can download the OKX app if you want. You can load in previous wallets that you own into here if you want just to load in your own wallet with a seed phrase, or you can let OKX create a wallet for you if you want. And then that is the wallet that you have now, Web3 wallet within the OKX app. Down at the bottom, press DEX. And this is the swap feature right here, which is the same as what we'll use on the browser version. I'll show you the DEX using the browser version just so we have more real estate to play with, but you can connect any wallet that you own to this DEX. So up in the top right, click connect wallet. Now, if you have the OKX wallet app that I just showed you, you can actually just scan this QR code to connect your wallet on your phone to the DEX on the browser. That just makes it easier to use. And then when you go ahead and sign the transaction, that's gonna go back into your phone for you to actually sign that transaction on your phone. If you don't have the OKX app uh, or the wallet, no problem, just go to other and connect any wallet that you have. So you can use Solana on the DEX as well. So I'm sure you've probably got Phantom if you're using a Solana blockchain. Any Ethereum based blockchains, you can just click the MetaMask icon. So I'll click that here and it's actually going to connect uh, my Rabi wallet. So it doesn't have Rabi wallet as an option, but I've got Rabi connected. It's basically just browser wallet. So if you have an Ethereum browser wallet, it's going to connect for you. You can also connect your wallet through uh, Wallet Connect as well. So I'll just uh, disconnect here and then connect again. And if you go to other and then Wallet Connect, if you have another wallet like Trust Wallet or something else where you can connect it through Wallet Connect, just go into your wallet. Like I've got a Trust Wallet here. Top left, I can scan a QR code. That's gonna connect my phone wallet with uh, the DEX on my browser as well. So that's how you can connect any wallet uh, to the DEX on the uh, browser that you're using. So I'll just connect my Rabi wallet and then we can go ahead and swap. If you don't have a crypto wallet set up at all yet, I'll leave video guides on all of the major wallets down in the description for you, showing you how to get set up, get your wallet address, and then get some coins into your wallet so that you can use them on chain. The other thing to know if you are new to using decentralized exchanges is that we have to choose the network that we're using and also we need some gas on that network to pay for transaction fees. So if I show you my wallet right here, you'll see that I've got some coins on a few different chains. So I've got some Ethereum here on the base network and on the base network, it uses ETH for gas. So when I trade on the, on the base network, I pay for the transaction fee in ETH. And that's why I've got some ETH in my wallet right here. Now you can see I've also got some BNB coin on the BNB chain. If I were to use the BNB chain, I need to pay for transaction fees in BNB coin. And whichever network that you're using, you need to make sure that you have the gas coin in your wallet on that network. For example, on Solana, you have to pay for gas in Sol. So what we can do is find out which network that we're using and make sure that we have some of the gas coin on that network to actually go ahead and trade. So go to DEX here. I'll leave the OKX link, uh, OKX DEX link down in the description as well if you wanna go through to this site. Go to swap, swap from, choose this right here. Ethereum is just the network that it's on right now, but you can choose Solana. And if you go to 40 plus, you can choose all of the networks that are supported. These are the major networks. These networks may have different coins to pay for gas. So for Tron, it's TRX, for Ton, it's Ton coin, for Solana, Sol, Ethereum, ETH. The best way to get gas is to buy it on a centralized exchange and then withdraw it to your wallet. So if you have OKX, centralized exchange, or Bybit, or Binance, or any of the others, go and buy the gas coin on the centralized exchange. Then once you have the coin, go to withdraw it. So up at the top, I'm gonna press withdraw, withdraw crypto, and I'll show you with a coin here, and it says, where do you want to send it? I wanna send it to the wallet that we have, right? So I'm gonna choose exchanges or wallets, and then it says, where do you want to send the coin, right? So which network do you want to use? That's up to you whether you want to use Solana or Arbitrum or Base or Ethereum mainnet. You can choose whichever network that you wanna use, but you always need the gas coin on that network. So for example, I'll show you with Base here. So I'm going to withdraw some coins uh, over the Base network, and it says, where do you want to send them? 
what is the wallet that we are going to send this coin to. So go back here, I'll show you my wallet. My wallet address is up at the top here. So go ahead and buy the gas coin on the network that you want to use on a centralized exchange, withdraw it to your wallet, and then you've got uh, gas that you can pay for transaction fees with. And you can also use the value, the dollar value of that coin as well to swap into any other coin. So if you want uh, some deposit and trading bonus links on the exchanges I use as well, I'll link those below in the description. So if you're new on those exchanges, make a deposit and a trade, uh, you might be able to get some bonuses as well by those links. Finally, once you have everything set up, we can go ahead and swap on the DEX. So again, go to DEX, swap here, and then choose the chain that you want to use and the tokens that you want to swap. So from, it says Ethereum here. I don't have any assets on Ethereum as you can see. So I'm gonna go over to the dropdown. I've got some assets on base that I'm gonna swap. So base here. And you can see I've got a balance and a dollar value of base ETH. That's Ethereum on the base network. You can see this icon buy it as well, community recognized. That's important because on a blockchain, anyone can create a token. So there may be many fake tokens that you don't wanna swap into. So if you're searching around for tokens, that icon is really important. Uh, again, the asset that we wanna swap into, we can search for this. So base ETH is recognized. I'm gonna search for USDC here. You should be able to see this one is community recognized. So that is the official USDC token, right? US dollar stablecoin. These ones are gonna be different versions or maybe some scam tokens that we definitely don't wanna trade into. If we search for another one like uh, Coinbase BTC, uh, there's no community recognition here, right? So which one should we choose? Which one is the right one? Well, this looks like it, but we don't really know. The other way you can check is looking at the liquidity and the volume, the trade volume of the asset. If it's very high, then chances are that that's the official token, but we don't really know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for the contract address that we have here and double check it in a trusted registry. So I'll show you again with USDC. You can see up here that this is the contract address and we are going to double check this. It ends in 2913. And just to show you how to check this, go over to a website like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, go and search for the asset. So I've got USDC here that I searched for up in the top left. You can see contracts here. I'm just going to search for the contract on the base network. So I'm gonna drop down here, search for base. I think it's at the bottom, somewhere near the bottom. Here it is, right? And the contract address on base is 2913. That's the same as the contract address that we have here, 2913. So you can double check that the asset that you're trading is the exact asset um, and the proper asset. You don't wanna trade any fakes or scams or anything like that. So you can click that one. Now you know that you're trading uh, two correct assets, one to the other. From here, we choose how much we want to trade and we just need to check all of the details as well. So let's choose an amount to swap. It's gonna give us the exchange rate. As you can see here, this is the exchange rate from ETH to USDC. We're trading a small amount. Slippage, this is the difference between the price quote that you get given right here and then the actual price that is traded on chain. There may be a slight difference between that. Now for large coins, you don't have to worry too much about it. If you're trading really large amounts, especially in small tokens, you could move the price and there may be quite a large slippage between the price quote and then what you actually trade. If you click this in, you can change it as well. I think the minimum you can set it at is 1% and underneath that, just set it to dynamic, which is fine. For large tokens like this, the slippage is gonna be basically nothing. You can see the minimum amount received after the worst slippage would be this amount. So if you're happy with that, that's like the worst trade you can get, then you can go ahead with the exchange. Now, what we can also see on the right-hand side is that um, the aggregator, because OKXDEX is an aggregator, so it's not an exchange, it just uses other exchanges and gets you the best exchange at the time that you press swap. We can see that the liquidity here we can actually uh, use all of these different exchanges. If you don't wanna use a particular exchange, you can just untick the box from it. For me, I'm happy to use any of the exchanges and to make sure that I just get the absolute best trade. You can see the network fee as well. This is the gas fee that we have to pay in the gas coin of the network. Uh, once you're happy with the swap and the exchange rate, go ahead and press swap. From there, it's just going to confirm for you all of the details, press confirm. I have to now confirm this in my wallet. So once I see all of the details again and exactly what's happening, check everything. If that's okay, just press sign or swap or confirm whatever it is in your wallet. And that's it. That will go through and use the DEX. And then once that's done, well, that's done already. There you go. Transaction successfully traded. You've swapped ETH into USDC and that's it.
OKX DEX also has an advanced feature which just lays things out much more like a centralized exchange. So if you go up to the top and press advanced here, you can see we've got the uh, chart of the asset. So whichever asset that you're looking at, that's much like a centralized exchange. Down at the bottom, you have all of the on-chain transactions. So these are the timestamps. This is the amount people are trading and the wallets that are trading them. And then on the right-hand side this time, you have the buy and sell buttons. It's exactly the same under the surface. We're using the decentralized exchange and we're using uh, exchanges on those networks. It's just this layout. And so what we can do is go and search for the asset that we want to trade. So up in the top right, the search box here, click this. You can see I search for CVBTC, which is Coinbase's uh, wrapped Bitcoin. And then you have this token on uh, Solana, Ethereum mainnet, Base, Arbitrum, and a few others. Again, choose the network that you want to use. Make sure that the liquidity is high so that you know it's the right coin and you can check the, um, the contract address as well. I'll choose it on the base network here, so click that. And then it's gonna give me uh, the trading screen for this. So we can change the chart around. So I'm gonna look at the day chart here over some specific time frame. These are all the on-chain transactions. If I wanna go ahead and buy and sell, it's exactly the same. So you can choose an amount to go ahead and buy or sell. So let's say 50%. Now, what I'm using is my base ETH to buy it. You don't have to though, you can use USDC for example. So if I choose USDC, now I can choose 100%. You know, I've got those $3 in there. Right? As you can see, what I can do is buy CBBTC and I can uh, actually use my USDC to go ahead and buy it. Or if I wanna sell BTC back into dollars essentially, then you can do the sell side, right? So that would be selling, but you can see I don't have any CBBTC in my account. So buy. USDC, I'm buying CBBTC with USDC. What I'd have to do is approve the USDC in my wallet. Once I've approved it, then I can actually go ahead and uh, trade. You can see the exchange rate right here though is essentially the same as we had in the previous swap screen, right? So we can't actually choose anything. We're just given basically a market order. This is the exchange rate. Do you actually wanna go ahead and trade? And you can do, and you can buy it with any of the assets that you have in your wallet right here. If you need any extra help with wallets, all of those videos are linked down below in the description and the deposit and trading bonuses to the exchanges I use will be linked down there as well. I'm James, it's Manny G. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.